Hi guys, my name is Ashley Whitmer and I wanted to talk to you today about fat. I want to rewind a little bit and kind of go back to about five years ago when I really didn't have um, health or nutrition dialed in at all. I was very uneducated. I did not have any knowledge whatsoever about what you should be eating every day, what our bodies need for fuel, what we need to run on every day and to help us feel good, what basically we need to be able to survive and thrive and have our brain and our bodies operating the way that we need it to. So I started getting into the fitness and health industry maybe five years ago. And when I started, I was terrified of fat. I can honestly tell you that I feared fats for so long in my personal nutrition and what I was feeding myself daily. I thought that fat was something that needed to be restricted, was something that needed extreme portion control, and was something that I needed to very much limit daily in order to um, have my body and my weight where I wanted it in order to um, get the goals that I wanted to achieve. I really thought that limiting fat was what needed to be done. I would go on and on with nutrition plans that kept my fat intake at a very, very low amount. Some days, none at all. And I really thought that that was what I needed to do. I thought that was the way, the only way. I went on like that for years. Yo-yo dieting, yo-yo nutrition, back and forth. I would go from one extreme to the next. I would go. I would be constantly working on before and afters because back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because I would go from one extreme to the other so quickly. Because limiting fats is really harmful to your body. I did not realize that I was doing more harm than good when I was restricting fats from my diet the way that I was. Healthy fats are needed in order for us to survive. It's a macronutrient and our our bodies and our brains, they need those, that fuel in order to live at our optimum state. Basically, Americans now, they are so afraid of fat. You see people all the time, they're, you know, counting calories or they're looking for things that are low fat or fat free. And those are the choices that they're making, not even realizing things like the carb count, what kind of chemicals they're ingesting, um, what kind of products that they're putting into their body that are processed just so that they can get the word low fat or fat free into their body. And I get it because I was so there. You think that you're doing something that's good for your body, that's beneficial, and you're really not. You're, you're actually harming yourself. It takes educating yourself and having an open mind and looking at the research and the facts to see that Americans all the time have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, all these issues, and they think that fat is the culprit, and it's not. It is the overload of carbs. Eating in a ketogenic way, even if you're eating ketogenic the way that I am in a lazy keto way, lower carbs, moderate protein, and higher fats. And that has been the most amazing switch for my brain and for my body over these last eight months. I feel like my brain fog is completely taken away. I am maintaining a healthy weight. I feel strong. I don't feel weak. My body doesn't feel um, like I'm not fueling it the proper way. I am so guilty of living years in a mindset that I needed to completely limit and restrict my fat intake. I would go buy meal plans where I was counting my portions and I thought that I was doing the right thing because I wasn't counting calories and I was just counting my portion size and limiting my fat. And I would wonder why I was walking around exhausted. Like I'm doing all of the things right. Why am I so tired? Why am I so grumpy? Why am I so exhausted? Why am I forgetting everything? Why is my brain fog crazy? Why is my anxiety so high? Why is my mood so, so low? Why is my sleep terrible? 
because I'm limiting my fat intake. I had days where I would eat no fats and I had days where I would put, count my portion size up into a small little amount and that was my allotted fats for the day. That's no more. I am living in a state now where I'm limiting my carb intake because of that glucose and that sugar and the way that my body is fueled when I have those as opposed to when I'm fueling it with fat. And now I'm making sure that I'm getting enough fats in every single day, healthy fats, so that my brain is firing, my body is running on that fuel, and I am working at that most optimum state and feeling that brain fog lifted. I'm sleeping better. I feel stronger. I'm holding a maintainable, healthy weight. I'm not fluctuating and jumping back and forth, back and forth, over and over and over into a yo-yo setting that is, in the end game, so unhealthy for me. For me. Into a state of ketosis is the most preferred method your body wants to be in. Your body wants to run on ketones. It wants to have that fat for its fuel source. That is how it fires at its optimum state. It can be hard to achieve that, but the, you're going to achieve it by eating lower carbs, moderate protein and higher fats. You know, women especially, they just, they have this stigma and I don't blame you. I was stuck in it too. You think if I eat that fat, I'm going to gain weight. I'm going to be fat. And it's just not true. I can promise you if you're limiting your carbs in, and you're you're having more fat, you are not going to gain weight from that. Now, if you're eating high fat and high carb, your body is not going to do the same things as if you were limiting the carbs and eating just higher fat, low carb. You need to um, do one with the other. I don't follow um, any diet, and I even hate the word, strictly like that. I will say that I lazy follow the ketogenic lifestyle, as in I am limiting my carbs, I am having higher fats, and I am having moderate protein. And what am I seeing because of this? I'm seeing way higher energy, better skin, better sleep, better mood. Um, I'm feeling stronger. I'm feeling happier. I'm having less anxiety because what's happening is when you don't have all of those carbs in your body, your body it runs out of that glycogen that's in the carbs to run on and it runs on the fat for fuel which it's it prefers to do that your brain and your body prefer to run on that your metabolism it changes completely and you're able to eat a lot more a lot more fats a lot more of those healthy vegetables those green vegetables a lot more um, of the healthy uh, the protein that you need you're gonna be able to eat a lot more of that because your metabolism is so much faster from letting your body run on the fat for fuel like it wants to for so long. And like I am one totally guilty of this for so long. I really thought that fat was not good for me. And like I said, it needed to be limited. It needed to be restricted. It needed to be, you know, contained. And you kind of have to let that go. And you have to be okay with the fact that you're going to be eating more fats, that it is going to be beneficial to you. And you're going to reap so many benefits for allowing your body to have that fat fuel that it needs, those healthy fats. And it, it it's one of those things that it takes a little bit of adjustment mentally to realize like, okay, I'm going to eat this all and, and I'm not going to, you know, shoot myself in the foot with it. It's, it's helping me. It's helping my body in so many ways. And it really is a mental shift because we've been um, trained and society has told us that, you know, it's, it's wrong for so long. I can promise you that not only will you be happy with the fat loss that you see because of that, you'll be so happy with all of the other benefits, the energy, the better sleep, the better skin. You're going to feel those and you're going to be like, wow, I can't believe I didn't do this so much sooner because that's just how I feel right now. I don't feel that unstable back and forth, back and forth. It's not the maintainable, healthy thing for your body. It's not the preferred way. And that's why it always felt like such a power struggle back and forth and so exhausting and like, 
why am I trying doing all these right things and I feel like I'm always back at square one and post uh, a link below too so that you can see um, a post that I put up on my social media that shows you exactly what I'm talking about where I was back and forth back and forth uh, in my old lifestyle with eating restricted fats to now and just the differences in that visually, mentally, emotionally, and just kind of the progression and change. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that I can keep giving you lots of content and value and make sure that you check out the links below to connect with me on other platforms as well. Thank you so much for watching this. I appreciate it. I'm always open for questions. Um, I know I had so many when I first started looking into this. You can contact me. I put that below. Again, make sure that you subscribe and you reach out to me if you need anything. And I really hope that you'll consider this and you'll look into it more and that you'll give it a shot for yourself too. I think you'll be really happy you did.